at the varsity level. He was a wide receiver as a freshman, a very confident young man, was in training camp for the Los Angeles Rams. What a play there to get the first down by Braden Bowman. A pickup of 16. Well, Los Angeles Rams fans might recognize this play. This is a Sean McVay special. Braden Bowman, the tight end, lines up on a wing to the left side, goes behind the line of scrimmage, bootleg pass. Perez taking a shot. Got it. Got it. Catch is made. Quentin Patton, huge gain for Birmingham to move the sticks. A gain of 43 yards, Arch. Watch the top of the route, Quentin Patton, and he gets that great separation. We talked to the offensive coordinator, Steve Logan, and he said this offense needs explosive plays. That is the one thing that we haven't had this year so far. Where are those going to come from in great? I think is a win for Mike Singletary's defense. So Nick Novak, 10 years in the National Football League, on, and Novak is true, and the Birmingham Iron have their first points in franchise history. There's their head coach, Tim Lewis. 9.44 to go in the opening quarter. Birmingham three, Memphis nothing. Big day for these two teams in the Alliance. Pressure coming. Perez cannot get away from that heat there of Anthony Johnson, who drops him for a loss. His head coach will love that, a loss of eight. Uh, Anthony Johnson, the former LSU Tigers standout. Again, play action pass, half roll. And what they're trying to do is pull the backside to seal off Johnson, but he is just too fast. He gets upfield and gets to Perez and makes the big play in the backfield. What a play by Birmingham, and Summers is having some day here. Jamar Summers comes up with a football. For the game's first turnover. But what a read by the linebacker. I want to say that was number 51. Oh, excuse me. That was number 54, Matthew Wells. Yes. Who read Hacken or read the quarterback perfectly. And that was extremely well covered inside, but a wonderful break on the ball from Wells. Gets the ball up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Lewis is hyped up. Defense straight. And he's true on that one. So 6 nothing Birmingham. A pair of Nick Novak field goals for Tim Lewis. And the Birmingham Iron, who are on top, 6 nothing. Perez, open man. Catch is made by Patton. And Patton still on his feet. With a big time play on first down to get the first down. That they have done an excellent job across the board in getting ready to play this game. No doubt about it. Perez taking a shot. Playing it out there. Catch is made. Big play as Felton gets underneath it. Young man they call Turbo. Beautiful out and up. Watch the slide. Sells it beautifully to the outside. And what a play again. Second time today under pressure. Luis Perez floating that ball up there and gets the ball down the field. Here he is from 47. Good snap for hold and Novak. Ten years he spent in the NFL with a number of teams. And Nick Novak. Nine. Memphis nothing. Matches the uniform number as well. So Tim Lewis and the Birmingham Iron here on opening day, a 9-0 lead. Oh, they're trying to take kickers out of the game, but they don't want to die. Plenty of time. Took a shot, got rid of it, and nearly reeled in there. Was it caught? No, they come in and say it hit the ground. It's third down. Oh, I don't know. Did he? Oh, what a... What do you think, Adam? I mean, it's it looked as if the left arm might have been under it. I think that's worth a challenge yeah. and worth an extra look. I got to believe Bur that. Time out of the half for Birmingham, 30 yeah. second time out. Birmingham took the time out. Based on early replay angles, I think there's a possibility that Patton caught this football. Play official Mark Butterworth looked back at this.
can't tell if the hand's underneath it. The point of the ball hits the ground when it comes down right there. It's under not two minutes, under control there is no when it hits the ground. So to me, Ben, the ball hits the ground simultaneously, and so I think that's a good call place. To Richardson, they feed him, finds his way through. They lost the ball, though. Ball came out. And a mad scramble to try and get it. They'll have to unfurl the bodies in there. It came out. The Marcus Gates, the one that forced the fumble on uh, Trent Richardson. Who has it, Ben? I'm going to guess Birmingham. No, 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 it's Memphis. First down in Memphis. They've got it. <laughs> I couldn't tell with all the bodies in there. Well, Richardson coughs it up. There's the winner. There you go. Jonathan Cook came away with it. We look back. Hey. Really nice job, you see. Right at the end of that play, Gates got it loose. The Gates coming in from behind. And Richardson just drops the ball. That's a great start for Mike Singletary's defense now. For Sales, the initial penetration is where it came from. On the right side of the offensive line, Casey Sales, number 90, just drives right through the right tackle and makes that play in the backfield. Now, I just, I don't love the play call right there. You have your full. Perez fakes to him. Luis Perez now dumps it off. And Perkins, who's played a lot here today. The ball came out. The ball came out. Memphis has it. Memphis comes up with another fumble. Jeremy Cotrer. Ball is out. Yep. What Gates a play. stripped it. Yeah, what a play by the linebacker, Demarcus Gates. We try this from 46. Hackenberg on the headset for the OC. 46 yard attempt. Memphis looking for their first points. And their first ever game in the Alliance. And they're not going to get it here as that kick goes well left. It, but I'd like to see him go for it. Yeah. This isn't Madden football, all right? This is <laughs> real football that... Here's Schmidt. No penalty here. High punt. And they get down there and down it. Took a perfect bounce. And they pin him inside of the five. Jacob Hagen down there. And Schmidt does the job. 3.46 to go in the third. Beautiful punt in this game. Hackenberg, 6 out of 16, you can add to that. All the big Howard with a catch. Out spread formation, five receivers, including the running back, out in passing routes. And this is a guy that is the fastest guy. All right, here goes Perez in the Birmingham Iron Offense. They take a shot. Perez throws it in there. And a beautiful play. Quinton Patton is main man today. A huge game. Davis tall with a pressure, but it didn't matter. A really nice job. That's the second or third time we've seen an incredible diving effort. Well, Singletary's defense has done a nice job. In the Splitting hairs. Nice run by Richardson. Julius Warmsley cannot get off of the block, and we got the Gronk spike. 
into the stands. Richardson into the end zone. First touchdown at Birmingham. Richardson behind Perez. Perez instead going to roll out and a throw. And it's caught. Richardson. He gets the two as well. Fred Richardson, the touchdown, the two point play for that time. There it is, the crossing play, but they don't get there. What a play! What a play on that far sideline by Ryan White. This Birmingham defense, very good today. The defensive backs have absolutely smothered the express wide receivers. Luis Perez. Richardson, Trent Richardson, Trent Richardson running the turn and the first down. True on that one, 20 to nothing, Birmingham with 4.17 to go. He's hit from 29, 28, 47, and 31 here today. On 15 yards per drive. Yikes. A lot of work today. Dixon, the iron coming up large again, flexing their muscles. Well, Dixon made a similar play in the first half, the tip ball that led to interception. Almost the exact same play that led to a turnover. This time, number 51 reads the quarterback, sticks his arm out there, and comes down with a pick. Yeah. Ooh. Richardson! Trent Richardson's got another touchdown for Birmingham. Inside of two minutes to go, a five-yard run. And Tim Lewis and his guys are on their way to a 1-0 start in the Alliance. I don't know about you, Ben, but it looks to me that as this game has gone on, Trent Richardson has got stronger and stronger. Yes. Really nice job breaking the arm tackle inside and then splitting two Memphis Express defenders en route to his second touchdown of the day. I mean, that's what you got to do right there. Number 96 has... Those guys to go to that they can, one, go and get a little bit more experience, but also go and make it their own, right? So right now, this is what you're seeing from AFF, and uh, I think it's only going to continue to grow. All right, Justin, thank you so much. Look forward to the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, Ben, back to you. Thanks so much, John, and great to have Justin Tuck with John and a part of the Alliance. A fumble by Neal and Beniquez Brown making the play. Getting on that loose pigskin right there. Is that Summers again? Is that number 26? It is. Who has been all yes. over the field in coverage? Yep.